At birth, Demi gave my parents quite the scare. As a preemie with virtually no medical or scientific hope, she became a testament to herself and what her life would lead as a fighter, an inspiration, a beacon of hope, and a place for refuge. Some of the doctors said she was a sickness baby. Um, that they had. And the Bible says that um, the fervent, effectual prayer of a righteous man availeth much. And uh, my dad was the finest uh, Christian man that I've ever known. And our pastor at the time out in New Jersey was Pastor Jordan. And he was cut out of the same cloth. And these guys spent weeks on their knees. And <laughs> look at her now. So from the time of her birth, she has proven to be a pillar of faith, whether it be for her patients in the ICU, their family members, her co-workers, or herself. Because throughout her life, Demi has seen and experienced things I could not begin to comprehend even in my heart of hearts. I stand here before you in surrender, <laughs> giving all that I am to you in hopes that you accept the man laid before you. I vow to learn more each day the importance of slowing down, returning to the breath within us, and the importance of unplugging and tuning into the world around us. It's your constant love that gives me strength. I vow to be open, to pour from within me all that I am in a relentless attempt to quench your soul. I vow to guide and to lead by the way of the Father. For that which is revealed to me shall be revealed to you. That which is given to me shall be given to you. Demi Lee, I will continue the patient, persistent pursuit of the depths of your soul to merely share a dance. In dance through this life we will. Partners for a lifetime, lovers for eternity. We can either conquer the world together or sit back and enjoy. <laughs> That way we already did. Under the starlight we'll find our way I know. This is the start of something beautiful. Tyler, these vows are promises that I unconditionally give to you. I vow to stand firm with you on the foundation of God's promises and to follow you down the path that he aligns. I promise to pray with you and bring all our needs and desires humbly at our Lord's feet, trusting with you in his ability to go before us and provide graciously and abundantly. I promise to remain grateful for life's greatest adventure and privilege of loving a man who embodies so much of the spirit that we see in the teachings of Jesus. I vow to fiercely love you, fight for us, and say yes in the name of marriage, love, and the covenant that I make to you today. I know my soul chooses you, but I choose you too. Today and every day for the rest of my life. With you by my side, there's no place that we can go. This is the start of something beautiful. As many of you already know, Demi is joyful, energetic, passionate, intelligent, funny, kind, loving, but most importantly, as it relates today, she is absolutely, positively, without a doubt, head over heels in love with my brother. <laughs> and with my niece, Riley. When the wind moves along your face, it captures everything I long to see. I began to notice that Tyler liked to watch and to listen and to learn too. He takes moments just to himself, but not in a selfish way. I catch him just staring at nothing, but he's smiling. He appreciates small gestures from the creator, like a light breeze or a flower in bloom, or the way Demi looks wrapped in a blanket by fire in my parents' back porch. Isn't she so beautiful? He says so often.
full of love and the peace of God. I mean, boy, the more you get to know this guy, you heard some of the people talk about him tonight. He's just amazing. He's just a spiritual being. But at the same time, he's crazy and funny and sure loves my girl. I watched as he made the most beautiful proposal and made private promises only they could understand while looking into one another's eyes and quietly promising yes. And I know a lot of other people out here have a lot of grandkids and a lot of children. I had two, both of which grew up to be men. I'm very proud of them. And I can honestly say right now, I hope that my kids have as much love and blessings in their life that I've had in my life. Ladies and gentlemen, by the power invested in me, by the providence of Almighty God in, in the state of Pennsylvania, I, <laughs> I now pronounce you husband and wife. Tyler, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> yes! Just take it. There's no reason we should waste it. Oh, I love you both. Congratulations again. Please raise your glasses and celebrate the newest Mr. and Mrs. Maines one more time. Cheers. Feels like